Hi guys. I installed a smart lever lock and I will show you how I installed it. It is a ultra lock smart lever lock product latch 5 fingerprint. I tried a similar product but that one didn't work well. The door handle didn't work properly and the attached physical keys didn't work either. This ultra lock product works perfectly for me. I installed the latch 5 at my apartment building. And at the location of the door, I didn't have a deadbolt and uh, there are tenants living there need to access this room but I didn't want to give them the full access all the time with the physical keys. With this product, I can give the tenants the temporary access through an iPhone app and I can also give the temporary key code as well. So once again, this is a perfect solution for my requirements. As always, I check the product box first. And then I am checking the list of items included in the package. Although it's a small issue, but I have a complaint with this product. I always anticipate to have a shiny brand new product when I purchase newly but this one somehow has a, some kind of a mark on the size and it's not only for this um, outside unit but um, inside uh, device also has the similar type of mark for some reasons. As a product it still works perfectly so once again it's a small complaint. So there are these physical keys included and other small parts as well as screws. And here's a manual and I learned how to install this product. And later on I installed the U-Tech uh, app on my iPhone to use this product with the app. And here's the doorknob. And another one. There's really no difference between them, so you can use either of them for inside or outside. And here's the mark I talked about. Um, this is there as well as you can see. So here's the door. As you can see, I already had a doorknob. So first, I'm removing the doorknob.
Okay, here's a new latch with screws to install this. And I installed the exterior keypad first. And then mounting plate. And I made sure that the cable is going through that uh, plate. And here comes the interior unit. I connected the cable. Installed batteries. Secure the panel. And I installed the lever. I needed a little bit of time to figure out this lever screws needed to be tightened with the counterclockwise and I completed the installation and then I installed the UTEC app on my iPhone I created a new account with my email address and create a password and my name and phone number then I got the verification code through text and completed the registration process and I added my device which is a latch 5 fingerprint and my device is found and I created the admin code
and I named that device. and create a new location and assign the large 5 to the location uh, and it's not shown here but I added the photo to the location as well And I set up the Wi-Fi. and save the password and now NAT5 is connected to the Wi-Fi and with a single tap the lock can be unlocked And of course, the unlocking can be done remotely. And I could adjust the time, how long the unlocking could be done through a one tap. And this is the place where the user code can be set. And I'm uh, setting up the fingerprint. And first fingerprint is set. And setting up um, this latch 5 is pretty straightforward. And currently it's set for 30 seconds.
And as always, I'm updating the firmware to the latest version. And I'm adding a new user here to provide a temporary code. So whenever I'm away and some work needs to be done inside of this door, I can provide that temporary code to the person. This is a very useful feature for me. And this is the reason why I bought this latch 5, so that I can install it and uh, control that door remotely. And of course, I can uh, open that door through my app remotely as well. And this is how I installed the Latch 5 fingerprint. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe. And I'll see you in the next video.